Hello, I'm Dr. Herman and welcome back for another video here on this website about how your chronic condition can be caused by a blood sugar imbalance. A blood sugar imbalance. Now it doesn't have to be, but it can be diabetes or it can be insulin resistance also known as prediabetes or even hypoglycemic also known as reactive hypoglycemia. When we look at lab ranges, there are labs that say 65 is the low end of normal, 99 is the high end of normal. Another lab says 70 is the low normal, 110 is the high normal. Another lab says 80 is low, 120 is high. Which one is right out of those three? Which range is the correct one? I'll give you five seconds. Pick one. They're all bell curve analysis of what they've seen in their lab. So if a lab has, um, if a lab has, let's say, diabetics coming in, people on medications, people with HIV positive on medications, people who eat a lot of junk food, some people who are healthy, some people who are postmenopausal, you understand, some people with lupus, what happens when they put all those numbers together? They make a range. It's not the optimum for a human being's function, because if you were taking a class, would you pass that class with a 65 average? No. And do you want to get a 99 in that class? If you're really going for something, in your body you want good function. You don't want disease, do you? Well, there's an optimal range here. Optimal range is 85 to 99. I've seen patients in my practice whose blood sugar turns out to be 80 and the doctors have told them it's normal. And I get them on a specific diet to bring up their sugars and all of a sudden their headaches go away. That may be different factors for different headaches, but I just want to use that as one example. Or maybe they're not feeling foggy in the brain anymore. Or maybe they just don't have the chronic fatigue anymore. You understand? We've got to have a better, a better range to measure good, optimal human being function. And these laboratory ranges, 65 to 99, 70 to 110, and 80 to 120, are just not, they're just not, they're, they're not up to what somebody's healthy, healthy status for a human being is. If you're at 110, you're already showing signs of hyperglycemia, pre-diabetes. If you're 120, you're pre-diabetic. That's not okay. Because what happens if you're showing signs of pre-diabetes on the blood test? And a, as a man, one of the things that happens for a man who's got blood sugars over 100, he creates an aromatization process. Aromatization means an enzyme called aromatase is created by the man's body and that aromatase enzyme grabs the man's testosterone and changes it into estrogen. Yeah, that can happen. A man's testosterone turns into a female hormone. Female hormones in a man's body above the normal level that they should be, because all men have female hormones, but we don't want higher levels of estrogen than our testosterone. Estrogen levels going higher in a man damage arteries. Arteries run through nerves. That could be part of a reason why you're not doing okay. In a woman's body, if a woman has a 110 or 120 blood sugar number, the doctor says, all right, hey, just watch your diet. They don't give them what to, they don't tell them what to do, but hey, just watch your diet. Get diet and exercise is the advice. If your blood sugar is 110 or 120 in a woman, you have another a, a reaction similar to what happens in a man. This enzyme is produced by your body and the enzyme grabs your estrogen and it turns it into testosterone. A woman can have higher levels of testosterone. In a woman, testosterone levels going higher, the hairy lip, maybe loss of hair, plus testosterone damages her arteries, changes brain chemistries also. So we've got to look at the body as a whole, not just look at you through the tunnel vision of, I'm just running a testosterone test and a estrogen test and, and just the blood sugar and white blood cells and red blood cells and cholesterol, because that is not a good enough checkup in my book or a lot of other doctors book you can't just run the minimum available in a blood test and say well we gave a good checkup you're good here's a pat on the back see you next time it's not okay so when we're talking about blood sugars we want that blood sugar range for optimal human being function between 85 and 99 and there if it falls below 85 or above 99 a cascade of events reactions take place and we don't need those reactions if we want to be healthy and pain-free and disease free. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thank you.